hello and welcome to my channel um, I'm late with my back to basics so um, this is not back to basics Monday but it is back to basics and we're looking at the envelope punch board <clears throat> so if anybody was thinking about getting one or if you've got them get them out this is really handy because whatever size card these are the measurements it gives you the measurements down here of the paper size and then the score and what you score, punch and score and it literally tells you each but literally each step of what to do and how to do it so without further ado we're going to make this tiny little envelope now this I know that we're doing it upside down this is two and a half by two and a half and I'm going to take this to a quarter of an inch punch and score along down the line and then along this line here we're going to marry that up and we've got a funny little thing that actually comes out so it actually pokes out so I'm going to score it punch it turn again and marry up this little thing here to your line your score line for this one okay punch score marry up punch score and here you will have your first little fold it in and fold it up fold it down Oops. whoopsie sometimes these uh, takes a bit of I think that's it yeah that's it can you see you fold it up and then fold it down now I'm going to round that edge <coughs> cool around hopefully it will do it yeah there we go so I've round the edge as well so that's the mini envelope you can go up to a six by eight and a half envelope but you can do other things with it I'm just going to do this this is um, three and a half inch um, paper and we're going to punch it one and a half and score and let's see and then we're going to rotate it so that this where we punched is facing me and this is obviously at one and a half inch and score then once we've done that we actually this little mark here goes up to this line your score line here we're going to punch and score and then we'll go all the way around to this one punch and score and now we're going to obviously fold everything all in and here that just needs a little bit of a, a trim but that's fine and we've made made the next size envelope up okay so I've made this size well, obviously I've got a mason jar in there um, I've got loads of little things here and you can make as I say large ones up as well now not only can we do that I've got here um, a piece of uh, paper which is eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter now I am going to make this a little I say a little box um, make sure that I've got my measurements right so yeah eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter and what we want to do is we want to come along here at three and one eighths and we're going to punch and we're going to score and then you're going to move it along to four or one eighths and we're going to punch and score oopsie hopefully I did that Hold on a minute. It wasn't uh, butted up so then we're going to flip it so this is at this end and we're going to come in at three and one eighths punch make sure I must make sure that it's up there and four and one eighths punch and score and then we're going to obviously punch score now this 
I'm making. So if you're making a box of cards and you need a little box to obviously put them in, this is the ideal thing. So let's just move this out of the way. It looks like that. Can you see? So now I think we're going to obviously burnish all the all the score lines. And the one that I yeah messed up. So that's like that. Now these little marks in, you can actually fold them in if you want, neatly. So fold them, knit them in half, or, so we're going to knit that in half, so that actually folds up and in, like so. Okay, and then we would then get the scissors, which I have all of a sudden lost. Hold on a minute. And we would snip down the score line there and snip down the score line there. Okay. So you can, if you want, cut these away, like at the top there, which I think we do, but if you don't want to, you can, as I say, do this. So what we're aiming for, you can actually put some tape on these to bring them in, but this is another way of showing you what this envelope punch board can do. So yes, it makes envelopes, tiny ones, all different sizes. And now it's going to make a little box for us to put our cards in. We're just going to lay that up like that. And obviously, you would stick all of that all together because I'm just showing you, and then stick that for your cards to go in. And then you can, yep. Yeah, so you could put it round like that and have it like that. But yeah, it's a cute, very, very cute little box. Plus as well, and I'm doing this rather quickly, you can round the corners. So it's a corner rounder as well. Okay. So that's that. I won't put it all together because um, I've got some other things to show you. So that's that one. Now what you can do is you can make bows so and you're like what so what we're going to do first or what I'm going to do first is to make this paper bow and then we're going to decorate it and pop it on our little box so these are three strips one by five so you need two of those and one by six so the first strip one by six, you're going to pop it in your punch board and um, punch it at three, so it's in the half. Flip it and do the other side. Okay, so it's like that. Then we're going to round it off, if it will let me. That's my set. Round each of the corners off. And that one hasn't done it very well. So that's one. So with the five by one, you're going to put this in at two and a half and flip. Two and a half and flip. Let me just move these out of the way. It's not liking that, is it? <laughs> Can tell this is old. Hold on a minute. I will say my envelope punch board is a very old. It I do believe it's about six, seven years old. So I love this corner rounder. It's like yeah. 
so <laughs> I'm sure yours is not like that so with the last one so we've got the six inch the five inch so this is the other five inch you're going to put it in at two and a half punch and flip put it in at two and a half punch and flip but this time in between here you're going to I'm going to do this upside down excuse my head in the way Mary hopefully this is in the middle and it's just moved you're going to make a, a fish tail and then punch it again and a fish tail okay so now we'll just move this quickly out of the way so that's your and we'll bring in this one so that's your bottom piece and then this is your next piece and I'm going to use glue dots so I'm just curling the paper okay and let's get a glue dot because it's easier to do and then what you're going to do is where we've where it's we've corner rounded that's meant to be corner rounded and then we're going to pop this in the middle like so okay so I'm hoping that you are enjoying this overview of um, yeah this punch board so I haven't got it out for a long time so again with the bone folder that comes with it um, I've just curled the paper I'm going to use a glue dot for either side just for quickness so these bows I know that um, there's loads of people that do them make them for um, happy mail gifts because I know I've done them and they're so easy to do and then you marry this up and then you would put your chosen gem or whatever to go and then pop that on like so so that's two ribbons so that's that ribbon now we've got another one to do and this um, first of all this one sorry this one is one by seven and a quarter now with this one it's all in one bow so all in one so you don't need pieces um, to yeah to punch so we're just using this one piece of card to make one little bow like this okay so we put this in we're going to again make a fish tail um, some people do the fish tails at the end I do them at the beginning so either end this is really nice shiny paper it's got a shine to it okay so I've done my fish tails now this corner we need to come in at one and a half and flip one and a half. then we're going to pop it along and move it along at three and a half and flip then we're going to turn it around and we're going to go one and a half flip it over one and a half and it looks something like this okay you can see so now we're going to take our bone folder and gently ease this round and then this in so again I'm going to use glue dots for quickness and where it's actually rounded this you're going to pop a little glue dot or pop some glue um, because this is this is going to be for the for the bottom of your bow so then we're going to put a glue dot here now if you've got uh, obviously wet glue hot glue you can put them both together so then we're going to marry this up like so 
and then marry this one like so and that's your little bow which is really cute and then you will put a gem or something like that on the middle okay and then again you all of these you could do in your journals um yeah there is so much that you could do so now we've come for the big bow so this is one and a half by ten again we're going to come in and make our fishtails because that's the way that i like and in actual fact i think this might be a bit thicker than one and a half but hey i'm going to run with it so our first score line sorry our punch line is at two so we're going to come at two two flip two and we're going to move it along to five five flip five. i'm going to go around this way and pop it in at two flip it over and again at two so this is obviously longer but it's um, fatter <laughs> so this could make a, a really nice bow but it's very very easy you could make a bunch of these or a bunch of these you know for on the, um, some acetate um, for uh, yeah a happy mail would be really really nice and really really easy so you know with the punch board it's not about the envelopes um, because I want to show you some other things that you can make with it so you know, we're going to have two sessions of um, the envelope punch board because I think it's such a great um, yeah a great a great useful thing for any crafter to have in their yeah in their stash and I'm sure that there's loads of you out there that um, has got one but I just wanted to showcase this for the next couple of uh, yeah, weeks and obviously yeah I do have gig giveaways so the giveaways are going to be all my all my bows that I've made so yeah and my envelopes all these tiny look at those ones so all these tiny little envelopes this this and this so i'm more likely put them all in this but yeah so this is what you're going to get i might put some other bits in as well for you so yeah if you would like to um be a part of this giveaway for um my back to basics um with the punch your yeah, envelope punch board then please um yeah please leave me a comment below um i thank you so so much for all your support um yeah i'm still not quite quite there not yet um concerning my health but um hopefully slowly slowly getting there so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this little video um with yeah with me using the envelope punch board um next week just a sneak peek with the envelope punch board you can make these spoils you can make mason jars and you can make proper little boxes and we're going to do some files as well um to put in your journals so that's going to be next monday so please watch out for that because yeah i love doing all of these goody things um please obviously thumbs up to this video um and please yeah subscribe to my channel that would be great and leave a comment and thanks for watching god bless bye for now bye